All right, so today we're gonna check out how to push your inflated text, which is made in Adobe Illustrator, and we're gonna recreate it in Adobe Firefly to make it look even better. Okay, so we're gonna start in Illustrator and I'm gonna go with this really cool stylized letter form. And we're gonna go to the 3D materials, scroll up and select the inflate. I'm gonna decrease the depth to zero. And I'm also gonna activate the ray tracing so we can see what is going on. Now let's go to the material, let's go down. And I'm gonna decrease the roughness a little bit more like that to make it more shiny. Also, don't decrease it too much because it's gonna create these light dots and Adobe Firefly is gonna confuse them and it's gonna paint some white dots on them, so which is not good. And I'd rather go like this. Now you also can go to the light and just customize the lights however you like. You also can add here another light source and I'm gonna push it into the opposite direction like so. And I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Now let's go to Adobe Firefly. We're gonna go to aspect ratio, change it to square, content type photo, scroll down. I'm gonna go and select hyper realistic, go to themes and select 3D, scroll down all the way, go to the lighting, change it to studio light. And we're gonna go and type into the prompt, rounded black glass sphere and the glossy surface reflecting, subtle light floating, isolated on white background. Now let's go and click on try prompt, fingers crossed, and this is the first result. I think this actually looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna go to the edit, use as style reference, and I'm gonna go back, scroll up. We're gonna change up the aspect ratio to landscape. Let's go to the composition reference, upload the image with the letter S that I made, click on open, continue, increase the strength to 100%. Let's go down to the style reference and I'm gonna decrease the visual intensity to zero and I'm gonna push up the strength to 100%. Let's see what happens. And I'm also gonna change up the prompt. Instead of rounded, I'm gonna type in text made of black glass sphere. I'm gonna delete the sphere and let's click on generate. And here we got the results. I don't like this one, but this one actually is decent. Here we got another one, let's see. Okay, this actually looks decent. So you're gonna need to keep on generating until you find something pretty good. But overall, these are all looking like paintings, but it's not a bad start. Okay, so I gotta do one more thing. I gotta go and decrease the strength at the style reference and generate. Oh wow, check this out. So at uh, zero style reference, it just made it perfect. All right, so it made it perfect. Look at that. I cannot believe it. So you have to put it on uh, zero. So it has to be visual intensity zero, strength zero, and then it is going to generate the right stuff. So this was it for today, guys. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.